Hey, welcome back. So Alec and I are just talking after we made the last video and uh, just about these engines because we just got together and about the intake manifolds. And when I got done explaining it all, he suggested we make a short video. So single plane versus dual plane intake manifolds. What's the difference? What's the benefit of each uh, what's in terms of the application? So for a street application, this is Todd's manifold. It's an Eldebrock uh, RPM manifold, and it's a dual plane. And most all street applications should have a dual plane. So the longer your intake runners are, the better your low end torque is going to be. The shorter, if you go back to the race one, which we'll get to in a second, uh, the less low end torque you're going to have, but the higher R RPM uh power and flow you're going to have so typically to achieve that and this is a elderbrock for the for a pontiac obviously but it's basically uh based on the original stock manifold so you have one part goes down under for this uh, number this case number one cylinder and the other one goes on the top for number three cylinder and then that kind of gets duplicated in all the other four corners what that does is essentially makes the port that reaches this valve starts farther away. The port that reaches this valve starts slower or shorter. So that makes these intake runners about the same length and as long as possible. The limitation, of course, is you can't, can't make the manifold higher, won't fit in the car, and therefore they're trying to jam, uh, make the ports as uh, equal length as they can and for a street application as long as they can. Long runners give you low end torque. Short runners give you high end flow and high end horsepower. So here's the intake for Mike's uh, small block Chev race engine. This engine is going to live most of its life uh, over 5,000 RPM, five to six or 7,000 RPM, not seven, 6,500 maybe. And so for a race application, you use a single plane manifold. So you can see if you rip the cover off here. I just tape this on nothing falls in. This is just a mocked up deal right now. There's no pistons or rods or anything in this engine. I just mock up to make sure parts fit. But as you can see, you basically have a straight shot right at the cylinders on all four corners and very, very short runners. And that is hard on low end torque. And that's exactly what I want because I think this engine is going to have more low end torque than I want to have coming off the corner. So that kills off low end torque, but it'll really work good at high RPM. So that's the difference between uh, uh, dual plane and single plane intake manifolds. Please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching Gold Scratch.